वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू रिगार्डिंग द एक्सटर्नल फीचर्स ऑफ टेन इयर्स शोल्यू एंड इन दैट एक्सटर्नल फीचर्स आई विल नेरेट यू अबाउट द योर मैच्योर प्रोग्रोटिक्स ऑफ टेन इयर specifically which are completed the process of reproduction those segments would be called as graphy proglottid segments and today i shall narrate you about the outward feature or external feature of this portion of the what tenia sole so under the external features of tenia sole today you will know About the graphic proglottid of tenia solium, I already drew a picture of the what your graphic proglottid of tenia solium. I will explain about this much as the external features in against the tenia solium to you, students. We are the mind in here, and you know the graphic, graphic G R A V I D graphic. Graphite means who are going to be decay or decomposed. It comes to the grave. Grave, you know, what is that called? Samadhi. The segments which are present towards the distal part of the organism would be help in the reproduction. The process of reproduction also be completed in there. That means. just after the fertilization the segments also be remain in there in there also they carry the only embryos there is no what the reproductive units like the testes and ovaries in there you only find in there the embryos embryo carry the segments of proglottid in case of the tenia solely would be known as graphic proglottid of tenia solium okay you know the classification of this animal which one you, you call the tenia solium tenia solium is one organizing which one belongs under the phylum your platyhelminthes you know your platyhelminthes are so remain under the kingdom animal here okay and its class is known as cistoda c e s t o i d a in particularly the class cistoda would be called as cistoidea c e s t o i d e a cistoidea order is known as cistoda c e s t o d a and genus you know that is called as what tenia t a e n i a and species is known as solium S O L I U M. And here I also mention the external features of tenia solium. In that context, today I shall explain you about the graphic proglottid of tenia. Okay, for this account, I already put diagram one put section of the your proglottid which are available at the distal part of the organism and known as graphic proglottid. And that picture, that is proglottid of tenia solium, also be mentioned in the white book. Okay, let us know about the characters of this part portion, which one called as the graphic proglottid in case of the tenia solium to you as external features. After fertilization, after fertilization, eggs are laid in numerous number and due to excessive growth of the eggs the uterus becomes branched to accommodate the eggs before i stated to you tenia solium is one bisexual organism or also we call as hermaphrodite that means it is monoecious both is sexes male sex organ and female sex organ both are seen in the same organism in each segment you find the male reproductive system side by side you also find the female reproductive system male reproductive system generally synthesizing the gametes like these forms female 
the body system of genetics is deciding the over and they will be comes under the process of fertilization okay and by the union of the gametes sperm with the ovum zygote must be formed up and that is the aim of the process of fertilization that zygotic elding process is known as fertilization zygote elding process otherwise known as fertilization after fertilization the eggs are called as a fertilized egg and they lay in the numerous numbers and due to the extensive growth or excessive growth of the eggs the in the uterus becomes what branch due to accumulate the eggs okay the greatly elongated and branched uterus occupies the whole of the interior of the segments therefore other associated the structure and get the what degree of the what the degeneration okay and the segments are called the gravid prograteids people here also explain to you which one is called as gravid prograteids those prograteids which are complete the process of fertilization already in there there is no gametes only the embryo are laden within them and those segments are called as the gravid prograteids remember that is called as gravid prograteids okay the greatly elongated and a branch uterus occupies the whole of the interior of the segment and therefore other associated and structures get degenerated and these segments must be called as but they are be prograteids okay the outermost covering is the cuticle the outermost covering is the cuticle in case of the platinum mucus you mark the cuticle is thicker and due to what to resist the different activities like the temperature as well as the drugs also chemicals okay that enclosure that cover is nothing is cuticle but that is also thicker in here okay the outermost covering is cuticle beneath it lies a layer of the longitudinal and circular muscle fibers respectively and i already explained you the organism tenial solid is a triploblastic one it must perform or possesses the three germ layers named as the ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm okay and so the layer must be thicker and in there you must find the longitudinal muscle layer and circular muscle fibers respectively the reproductive organs except the uterus and the disintegrate they will not be remain in case of the your gravid prograteids the longitudinal nerve cord and excluded vessels must be seen in there they must be persist in that part okay at this stage the eggs are covered by a hard calcareous shell s h e l l and b s the six small pointed hooks and this stage is known as hexacanth embryo stage hexacanth hexacanth embryonic stage okay this is called as hexacanth embryonic stage okay and this embryo stage you must find in there and that is called as hexacanth and it is very remarkable features in the body of the tenia shore okay my narration is ending in here regarding the your prograteid which one is already gravid and so that is called as gravid prograteid it will be arising from the your mature prograteid mature prograteid at the end converted into the gravid prograteid okay initially pre what prograteid will be fine at the region of the neck they are coming towards the downward or towards the distal end of the body and which are mature in comparison with the young one they will be remaining towards posterior and young one 
also remaining towards the anterior. And those mature proteins who are complete the process of fertilization, at the time they will be known as your rapid proteins. Okay, thank you. You see, the diagram, in the air you find most your genital pore, which will open to all shapes. Then you find the ovida, which will allow you the eliminator of the void, the body units to the external side. Then you find in there your embryo. Embryo will be laden within the sex, which are generally formed from the uterus, and the uterus becoming branching in there. And this view you must find in the graphene from proteins. Thank you.